Hello, good afternoon guys, hope you're all okay. Uh, sorry I've not been here for a couple of days. Uh, things got a bit, uh, bit much for me guys. Uh, but I'm back, I'm back now guys. Um, just wanted to sort of explain a few things. Uh, so as you know, I've, I've been getting hate for quite a long time now. Um, all because I like to be there for others. Um, I care for others. You know, I like to make sure they're okay, they're not being bullied. Um, that, that's something I've always done. You know, I was bullied as a kid, so like, why would I allow someone else to be bullied? No, I wouldn't. Um, I, have, I have a fan base, as you know, I have a fan base from very young age right the way up uh, to 70 years old, which I showed in the age analytics. Uh, now, said in, to, said in my uh, previous video um, that obviously, uh, in the evenings when I do my lives, it's 16 plus, uh, which I very make it very, very strict to do that, make it, you know, safe for everyone. Yes, sometimes I may have a few drinks. Nothing wrong with that. Should be allowed to have a drink. Now, when people are saying I'm passing out, that's due to tiredness. Um, again, these people don't know my life, guys. I don't have much sleep like the normal person would have. I struggle to sleep at night. And why do I struggle to sleep at night? Would you like to ask yourselves? I'm gonna tell you. Because my life is restricted. It's restricted in many ways. Uh, Mobility-wise, I can't walk very far. Um, people will say that's due to just my weight. It's not just due to do, to do with just that. I have thyroid problems in my legs, uh, which is causes me pain and discomfort when I'm on my feet for more than five minutes. Hence, well, I can't do many tasks. Um, also, I get very breathless, uh, where I feel like I, you know, I, I need to sit down. Now, people always say, oh, you're overeating, you're overeating. Um, that's also, you know, their opinion, but I'm not overeating. I don't eat three meals a day, uh, which people have stated, I don't. So sometimes I'll have breakfast, sometimes I won't. But I will have my dinner, and I don't always have lunch either. Um, at the end of the day, it's, this bullying and this hatred towards me is, is really out of order. And I've now had to take serious action against that um, to have these people dealt with. Um, now, that has now gone to the authorities uh, for them to deal with. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, it's got to that point now, guys, where enough is enough and the king's not going to, because I am the only king, there's no other king, so, <laughs> and no one takes the king's place. I am the king uh, and that is it. I've been the king right the way from TikTok and I'm still the king now. And that will never change, guys. That will never change. Okay? Um, you will see many of my fans uh, that have seen the nice side of me. Uh, and the reason they see the nice side of me is because they don't hurt on me. They don't hate on me. They don't be negative towards me. You know, they don't. They don't do it. Because if you upset someone, then obviously they're gonna be upset, they're gonna be angry. That's how it works in life, guys. You leave people alone to get on with their lives, yeah, and let them get on with their fans, then there's not a problem, there's not a problem. Now, I know many people are saying they're worried about the, the younger fans. Now, I'm sorry, but on my earlier lives, we don't behave like this, we don't behave at all like that, okay? If you've ever watched any of my lives between five and eight on YouTube, you'll quite clearly see the lives are fine, there's nothing there, I'm not drinking, you know, I'm just drinking energy drinks. I mean, now I'm drinking a nice cup of coffee with the King's Cup, so I've got the cafe lay in there. So I do, I do drink coffee. Oh, lovely, I love a good cup of coffee. Um, but yeah, I do, I do drink other drinks, you know what I mean? But I'm entitled to have a drink, and do you know what? In the evenings when I do my lives, now this is gonna be really, um, personal to me I look forward to the lives I look forward to it um, it's my time to interact with my fans you know my older fans so 16 plus yeah no I look forward to that and you can see I look forward to it so I'm always very happy through that live until the haters start coming in uh, I look forward to that every time I do it 
Now, I don't get monetization on it because we normally play, you know, our own tunes. Uh, this is epidemic music, so this will not, this will be monetized anyway. So this is, I've joined up with this new epidemic thing, so uh, we can play these tunes. Uh, so I've got royalty free, which I pay a monthly fee for. Um, so we can play these tunes and they can't do nothing. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, I think people, it's just jealousy. It just comes down to pure jealousy, guys. It just really comes down to pure jealousy. Um, now, I mean, obviously they will go on about TikTok. Oh, but you kicked off on TikTok. Do you always look back in the past, guys? Do you always look back in the past? People do make mistakes, yeah? But you need to understand why those mistakes are happening. It's not that I've just deliberately done them. I don't go out to hurt anyone. I don't go out to maliciously be nasty to anyone or anything. I don't. I'm actually a genuinely nice guy. And my genuine fans will tell you this. They will tell you I am the most nicest person ever. But you upset me, then obviously I will turn. Like anyone. You know, if someone's horrible to you, then you're going to be nasty back, I'm afraid. That's, that's how it works. You know, this, all this crap going around calling me a nonce and a pedo. I mean, that's slander. That is pure and utter slander. Yeah? And people say, why don't you go out? And I'm like, how can you go out when someone's caught, when people on the internet are calling me all those names? You can't go out. How can you go out and enjoy yourself when people are calling you things you're not? You cannot throw that word around. That is bad education. To the to the young to the younger generation, you can't be throwing that around, guys. You just can't. It's not on, and it needs to stop. I've been cleared. I've been cleared. It's not just NFA, guys. I've never done it. I've never done anything like that. Pedophile was and nonce was never in my life. Yes, I was stung by someone. Yes, I was, but that was clearly a setup, you know, to try and deceive me, which they did deceive me. Yeah, but I didn't commit any crime, and that's what you have to realise, guys. You know, people will always try to say, oh, but it's very noncy, you believe them. You cannot blame me. So I'm going to give you another example, okay? So say person A, yeah, person A um, is, I don't know, 14. Say they're 14. Person A is 14, yeah? And they're talking to person B. But they tell that person they're 20 years old. So person A says they are 20 years old to person B, yeah? But person B has stated they're, they're 37, yeah? Um, so they think that's okay. They think that, you know, they've seen the ID, say the ID has been sent, the same as my one. Um, and they think that's okay to continue the chat. So they did, they continued the chat. Now, if down the line, person A, comes out that they're not 20 years old, okay? And they have faked government documents, so provisional driving license government documents, that is fraud, deception, yeah? Uh, you're deceiving a person. There's many charges there, many, yeah? It doesn't matter if you're a child or not. There's, you can still have custodial sentences. You go to um, youth offenders. There is still that, if there is, yeah? You can go to court and you can be done for it. You can be done because you have deceived and you've manipulated that person to try and get them in trouble. Okay, but did person B lie about their age? No. Okay, but the person A did and showed ID they were. That does not mean that it's person B's fault. Does not mean it's his fault at all. Or her, it could be a her. You know, person A could be a male or female and person B could be a male or female. But it is not person B's fault because if they've seen ID that they are they believe is real, okay, and they've checked it with someone else and the authorities, then rest my case on that one. Rest my case. You cannot go around, and I mean this very strongly, you can't go around throwing those words around. You just can't do it. It is very damaging, very damaging. Now, I can use myself as an excuse on that one. I lost my job um, a couple of years back now. I worked for Sainsbury's and people rang my work up. They rang my work up and told them malicious things, nasty things, things that are not true. And I was investigated. Now, even though nothing became of that investigation, 
um, I had to leave my job. I had to leave because I knew they were going to push us anyway because they don't like bad publicity. But they've take they took my job away from me, guys. Uh, that's not acceptable behaviour. That is not acceptable to take someone's job away from them when they're trying to earn a living. Now, because obviously losing that job, I've now got all my other businesses now. People are, they're not happy. They're not happy, guys. Why are they not happy? Because they thought by making me lose my job, that would make me hit rock bottom and I'd have nothing. But I do have things and that's what upsets them, guys. That's what upsets them is I have things still. I have things. I have my phone. I have my laptop. I have my laptop at the time. Got rid of that when I got it back from the police. Yeah, because you see, people don't like it. If you've got nice things, they don't like it. And they'll do anything in their power to stop that. I mean, another example, guys, TikTok trying to advertise my shout out business, yeah? My merch site, reporting the links all the time, even on the profiles, yeah? I mean, how sad is that? You know, really sad. And that is pure, pure jealousy, pure jealousy. Yeah, never be jealous of people, never be jealous, yeah? Be happy for people, be happy. And say, well done to you for being successful, well done. Positive words don't cost a lot, guys, they really don't. It's nice to be nice to people, yeah? It's not It's not nice to be horrible to them. You, have, you don't have any right to be horrible to them, yeah? Now, if you're horrible to someone, like they've been horrible to me, you're gonna get horrible back, sadly, that's life, you know? You can't expect me to sit back and take that on the chin. I can't, or on my 15 chins, you know, you can't expect me to do that. I mean, I've heard all the jokes, guys. 15 chins, blobby, blah, blah. I mean, they don't bother me. They really do not bother me. I mean, they're like really old school, childish, tr childish games, you know. They don't bother me at all. But that pedo nonce word definitely does bother me. And it, I'm not that. And that's why I'll always challenge. Always challenge, because I'm naive. I'm helping people because I want to help them, yeah? Be there for them and, and support them with their channel. You know what I mean? What, what's the wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. And talking to my younger fans, nothing wrong with it. Again, speak to the police. They'll tell you. I, I've already checked with this. All, many times I've checked with the police. And they've told me there is no crime committed talking in the live to your fans where everyone can see. Okay, now as I said to you on the earlier lives on YouTube, that is because I'm not doing any lives on TikTok again. Never, ever going over to that horrible site. Okay, uh, they may get videos, like food videos, but I'm not ever doing a live there. No way. Um, too, too toxic, too toxic over there. It's a horrible site. Um, and a lot of creators are leaving. They've had enough. Um, they're being doxxed, yeah, I've been doxxed, another c couple of creators have been doxxed, yeah, they've had their families threatened, yeah, had family photos put up, I've had my family photos put up, oh yeah, my nieces, nephews, they're going to RAPE them, uh, yeah, now they've moved on to another TikToker that I know, put his family up, yeah, is that acceptable behaviour guys, no it's not. So you don't see these things that are going on, yeah? You haters only see what you want to see. It's like you're you're partially looking at it. You're not looking at it fully. You're not looking at the bigger picture, yeah? I don't go out to hate on people unfairly. That's something I never do. There will always be an underlining uh, issue there. Always an underlying issue. And there'll be a reason. I don't just kick off. I don't. It takes someone to do that to me. Now, if you leave me alone and stop mentioning my name and getting on with your own lives, then I'm happy. You'll see that when I do my YouTube lives in the evening. Yeah, when I'm on there and I'm enjoying myself with my fans, we have a good old time, we sing, do a sing song, we have a chat. You know, it's chilled, it's nice. But they come in and have to try and ruin it. Now, that ain't fair, that is not fair. It's bad enough they took the job away from me when I worked for Sainsbury's, then basically keeping me inside, yeah, like a prisoner, which is, that's how it feels, guys. It does feel like I'm a prisoner in my own home because I can't go out, yeah, but can't go out. The only time I can go out is if Steve brings a car down, then we go out. Otherwise, don't go out, guys. Now, that's why I don't go out. It's because people putting out it false allegations, false. 
Now, who are to blame for me not going out? They are. They'll always be to blame and I will hold them accountable to the day I leave this planet. I will always hold them accountable. And I hope it makes them really feel awful. I really do. Because they caused it, guys. They caused it. And they have to, they have to pay. They have to pay. That's why I've gone to the police. And the police will deal with it. Because if they don't, then I go higher up the police. I will go higher. What they're doing is disgusting behaviour. And enough is enough now. And it needs to stop. Okay? I'm allowed to talk to my younger fans. Now when I do my young, uh, young uh, the lives in the early evening, I am allowed to talk to my fans, okay? No one tells me that I can't talk to my younger fans. Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? He knows who he is, he knows. There's a couple of them. No one tells me what to do, ever, okay? Not committed any crime. It's chatting in a live where everyone can see the live, okay? Now, if you look closely, I'm very strict on that early live. I say no swearing, nothing. And one of the mods swore. And I was straight on him, mate. Time out. Bang. Gone. Yeah, I would not have it. I won't have it. Okay, so don't go around accusing me that I'm a groomer and this and that just because I try to help people and be there for people. Um, many of my fans uh, have mental health, the older ones, um, and they look forward to seeing me. Now, they haven't seen me for a couple of days. How do you think they feel? How do you think they feel they've not been able to see me and speak to me? I'm sure they feel very low. Yeah, I'm sure they feel very low and think, oh, where's Ian? You know, he makes us feel happy. I put a, p a post up on my YouTube channel, didn't I? From a genuine fan. Um, she messaged me on Instagram. And do you know what? That, that message made me cry. It made me cry. Because the words in it were bang on. Yeah, I am a nice person and I like to be there for people. Yeah, it did actually make me cry, guys. It Maybe did. You don't care um, That's okay. I'm not a bad person. I ain't a bad person, guys. I'm not. I really aren't. I ain't. You may have seen things where um, I have been, you know, angry. But there's always a reason before that, guys. There's always a reason. Um, it's not just that I kick off. You know, I'm not. It's just not. It's not that, guys, really. People just need to leave me alone. Okay, so I have mental health. I have severe depression, severe anxiety. Uh, I used to love going out. I used to love it. Yeah, going out in the car. Even just going out into the garden. Can't do that anymore, guys. Can't go out in the garden anymore. See? Because they ruined that. They ruined it. Look, the King's Cup, look. King's Cup. <laughs> Me and Sammy. So that's got coffee in there. Uh, but yeah, they've ruined that. And uh, it's, it's a shame. So, before they wreck someone else's life, just think what you've done to me. Just think what you did to me. And use that as a learning curve and think, wow, you know, we know now why Ian doesn't go out. You don't look at the bigger picture, guys. You don't. And that is where you, you need to be educated. You won't see everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. You won't see everything, sadly, because there's so much out there. Um, but people twist things, people edit videos to dis discredit me. Um, they will use anything to make me feel like rubbish, you know. Um, like I say, taking the job wasn't enough for them. Taking my devices away from me, accusing me of things I'm not, uh, by getting them back, that was, the, you know, they were horrified that I got them back because I fought for my stuff. I thought, no. I'm not losing my stuff. I haven't done anything wrong. Um, yeah, so they were unhappy there. They were unhappy. And now, because obviously I got my iPad Pro, so when I got my laptop back, I'd missed all that time of not having it, so I sold it. I sold it and got an iPad instead. You know, because why not? It's my money. Uh, and now they're saying, oh, it's on your iPad. There's nothing on my iPad, just my family photos pictures of my animals yeah so poppy 
pictures of her and pictures of Sammy. I don't see pictures of me, <laughs> but yeah, pictures of me, uh, my videos I do for my YouTube, um, yeah, and my family. There's nothing else on there. There will never be anything else on there because I'm not these things. I'm not. You know, and it does need to stop, guys. It really does need to stop. It's not healthy for me. Um, you're affecting my fans when I'm not here. Um, but now the police, now it's in the police's hands. Um, they will take care of that. Okay. Um, well, I hope they will. Uh, if they don't, then I have to go further with the police. Uh, but it is with the police. Um, so I have all, all the uh, videos that I needed from that certain person's page. Um, so that has gone gone to the police. Um, there is two 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 uh, reference numbers for it: harassment and malicious communications. Uh, so that person will be visited or contacted, I guess, by the police in due course. Um, but yeah, you know. It has to be done guys has to be done it's not healthy now um you know it's not fair on me i shouldn't have to live like this day in day out shouldn't you know i'm a creator to my fans and you will not take that away from me you will not take that away from me okay i'm sorry but you will not be able to take that away from me it's never going to happen so guys my genuine fans have followed me for a long time i know i know you trust me i know you do um, and you, you, you know, I, I, <laughs> I value your, I value your, I value you, you following me definitely and look at, and supporting me. It means a lot. It really does mean a lot. And people don't understand that we are the Kingians family. We are. We look after.